Mike Bordick joins us now. Mike, how do you explain how they hit so well during the win streak, hit so well during the month of August, and now have gone so cold? Well, it's a streaky team, to say the least, and we've seen it all year long, and it seems like uh, when one goes down, they all go down, and right now, everybody's down, and it's hard, and you could tell the energy level very low in tonight's ball game. You know, some not good defense. Uh, we saw that out on the field. Led to a couple runs by the Yankees. Only three hits they could muster off Severino. Listen, Severino, one of the best arms in the American League, if not all of baseball this year. He was dominant. I mean, he was rushing it up there over 100 miles an hour and had that power slider. But uh, certainly this team looked flat, and they've taken a beating here at Yankee Stadium. Mike, you know, Gabriel and Noah comes in. That's his second Pretty good start, I'd have to say. Uh, I know he ended up getting that last run put on his, uh, his for his credit and everything. But I thought he did a pretty darn good job of keeping the Yankees off balance for the first four and a third innings. Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, and I think uh, those are the type of things you have to take out of these ball games. You know, uh, who's stepping up? Um, you know, and Noah wasn't intimidated at all. He, he pitched four and a third, very strong innings, scattering the five hits. He came up with big pitches when he needed to. I think Buck thinking, okay, third time through the lineup, better get him out of here as quickly as possible. So you can kind of understand that move, but it was encouraging to see Noah going in there and showing what he had. He had nice fastball life, and he was throwing at 95, 96 miles an hour. Steady diet of sliders early on in the ball game, so a, a nice two-pitch mix working for him, and uh, you know, getting him into the middle of the ball game, and it was a close game at that point, and that's really all you can ask out of your out of your starters, out of any arm that's going to be. Uh, toe in the slab now for the Orioles and you try to find those positive things and and obviously the Orioles still mathematically in it but when you look at them in, in the last two ball games it's certainly very flat and especially on this whole road trip and the offense not quite there so you find the positives and you start looking forward a little bit uh, who's going to be able to help you in the future you know I know a very young arm in this Oriole organization.